Hi, <laughs> how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Patricia Kiharo. Thank you so much for joining me and let go. Um, if you are back here for part three of the Vipingo trip, well, well, this is the right place to be. But I'm doing it a little bit different in this video because I am trying out a few things just to see, like trying to find my footing when it comes to my my YouTube channels, uh, my the YouTube the videos, my the small, small things. Anyway, so this is part three of um, the Vipingo trip and this is my trip back. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because I feel like I need to narrate all the things that were happening um, on this day. We had been in Vipingo for about three days. The plan was to take the train to Mombasa and then take it back to Nairobi. This is before they introduced the afternoon train, so we still had to be at the train station by 9 a.m. Mimi Mwenyewe, as a human being who's not a morning person and who has relaxed her way to relaxation, like I was flaccid, I'd relaxed so much that the thought of having to wake up at about 5, 6 in the morning to leave Vipingo, which is some way out of Mombasa, to get to the train station by about 8.30 so that the, we can be on the train, I just was like, nah man, it's not my life. So what I did, I was like, you know what, let me try and find a flight back to Nairobi. So the plan had been to be in the coast from Thursday till Monday. So there was a bunch of us, so some people were coming back Monday, some people Sunday, some people Saturday. I wanted to be back in Nairobi by Saturday because I was I was meeting someone who was gonna be who was in town. Long story, I was meeting someone, so I needed to be back in Nairobi by Saturday evening. We were leaving Nairobi on Monday, and I didn't want to just like travel back on Sunday and then have like two hours with them because I have to go to work. And it was somebody who really meant a lot to me, so it's like okay, I really wanted to have at least like twenty-four hours with them. So I had to be back on Saturday evening. I wasn't feeling the train, so I found I went online to look for flights back, right? There's all these um, airlines, and I'm checking the prices, and I'm just like, man. I called uh, Skyward Express. That's what I said, right? Skyward. So I called Skyward, and I speak to a lady called Anne. I think, and she was very helpful. By the way, this is not like a sponsored video or anything. This is just my actual experience with them. So I speak to the lady. I'm like, I need a flight for tomorrow. Um, I'm not so sure what time, what flights do you. I looked at the flights that they have and they had said, I don't remember, wait on it. Skyward Express, -na -na -na. because they go Skyward, not ground one. Anyway, so they tell me their times and one of them I think was 12 and then the other one was 4.30 um, for the ones that I was interested in. So I was like, okay, 4.30 sounds like what I want right but then I needed some time to think about it so I took some time and then now when I call them a few hours later I speak to Anne and then I'm like you know what I've decided I'm gonna do the 430 flight that way I can just chill almost have like another day like just to relax breakfast lunch chill and then head to the airport then she tells me okay great I'm gonna charge you 4,000 bob and I'm like wow wow is there a discount i guess that's the rate at which it was on that day because maybe the flight wasn't full or something i don't know you know how these airline the airline pricing works is like if there's a lot of people if there's high demand then the prices definitely go up but i wasn't expecting it to get that low one second so anyway i wasn't expecting the discount so that was a pleasant surprise so I tell her sawa, she sends me an email, tells me how to pay and pesa, very chop chop, very convenient. And you know, I'm easy, I'm like, wow, okay. This is this this is and this is on this is happening on Friday, right? So I've paid for the ticket and everything. Saturday I'm just chilling, I'm easy, breezy, come on, you know, relaxing, living my best life. Woo! Yeah. You know, like just I didn't have anything to worry about. So the first batch of people who were going back to Nairobi on Saturday morning already left at like 6 a.m., right? So they went and I was like, power to them. We had a driver who we had hired um, for the time that we were there. So he was just like, you call him, oh, we wanna go here, we wanna go here. And he comes, and he comes to where we are. <laughs> I 
think he went to drop off some people. Someone was going to meet someone, so they were they were taken to Mombasa um, at about noon. And I didn't leave with that bunch of people because I thought he'd be back by two to pick me up, so that I'm at the airport by three at the latest or three fifteen, so that you know I have time to check in. Blah blah blah. Ha! Huh. At two o'clock, I called the driver. And he's like, ah, ah, and come over, sir. Um, uh, has to pick up who from where. And I'm like, um, yeah, you were supposed to come pick me up at two. Where I am? So I got ah. na na wale wengine atuliondoka subui. I'm like, no, um, no. I'm like, I'm like, something of the sort. So he's like, okay, fine. Um, unenda, unafakwa airport sanga. So I was like, I need to be there latest 3.30. Because the flight was for 4.30 and I don't, I get so anxious when it comes to like flights and checking in and whatnot. So I was like, yo, dude, I, like you need to be here now. So he's like, ah, okay, call these other guys, tell them to come to the road to do the Wachili wear at. So he has to come back from Mombasa. And then it's Saturday afternoon. Of course, there's traffic sides of Mutuapa. I'm just panicking. I'm like, this cannot be happening. So I call my friends, and then who had to be picked up? They were like, you know what? It's okay. Let him come for you. Don't worry. As guys will chill. We'll come back to the house later. So I tell the driver, please just come directly here. I, I just need, I, like, they're okay. You can pick them up later, but I need you to come pick me up and take me to the airport. This is Vipingo Ridge. It's not even at somewhere where you can Uber or whatever. I tried Uber, taxi five. Nowhere to be found. Like it would take about 40, 45 minutes even for the guy to like come through. So, and the place we were staying, Vipingo Ridge itself, as much as they have like a shuttle service, I called the office and the car was at the airport. <laughs> so it's like, mm, no. This guy took his time. Like every time I would call him like, every 20 minutes and he'd be like ah, I'm like oh, kidogo. I'm like okay asante and I'm like shitting bricks you know like ni mekaza matako because I'm thinking I'm gonna be left I, I can't not be in Nairobi tonight then I call back the Skyward Express guys I'm like yo there's a taxi that's coming to pick me up it might get here by around three, so I may be getting to the airport at like four. Is that okay? Is there a delay? And she's like, hey, Kwanzaa, today the plane is even early. It's going to be here <laughs> before four. And I'm like, oh my gosh, there's no way we can ask for a delay. Like, is there anything that we can do? Because I can't miss this flight. And she's like, yo, you just try to get here as fast as possible. And we're, we're going to see what we can do. And then she's like, let me know, like, just keep me um, updated. Taxi guy shows up at 3 p.m. Of course, I jump into the taxi and then we drive off. I, I'm one of those people who I'm not going to tell you, but at the same time, I'm just willing you in my heart, like, dear Lord Jesus, please, please put the spirit of, of fast driving. <laughs> the guy's taking his time and I'm just like, Patricia, just breathe. So all this time I was just like, you know what, let me just like take some footage, let me record stuff and try and calm myself down. I know Mtwapa is a mess when it comes to traffic. We get to Mtwapa in maybe like 20 minutes. Do your traffic. So I'm like, what? It's about 3.20 now, right? So I'm like, okay, okay, it's okay. That Mtwapa traffic, we were in it for maybe 15 minutes. So by the time we are leaving Mtwapa and headed now to Nyali, like the Nyali shopping center approaching that side, I'm just like, well, let me check on Google how long it's gonna take to get to the airport. And then there's two routes. There's the one through Bombolulu and then there's the one that uses the Lynx Road. Guy, I'm talking like I know Mombasa like I'm a, <laughs> I'm a mimi o ani. <laughs> uh, okay, there goes this one. Anyway, like I'm a resident. So I check the route to the airport. The one for Bombolulu, there's traffic. The one for Lynx Road, there's traffic uko close to the bridge. But to both of them say, like one is saying 57 minutes to get to the airport, the other one is saying 7 minutes less, 50 minutes. It's what time? It's 3.35. So I'm like, oh crap. I'm screwed. The earliest I can get to the airport is like 4.15. So of 
course now we are approaching the the Nakumatinyali junction to get onto Links Road. I tell the guy to me a Links Road kwa vile Bombolulu ina ina traffic. Kuna jam pale na eh, tutakaoia kidogo hata kama dakika kama saba hivi tutakuwa tumekwama kidogo. Then I asked him because you know me and my um uh, Boda Boda Association brand ambassador self appointed no, I start thinking, I start toying with the idea that maybe I can just grab a Boda Boda to the airport. It's not something I'm averse to. In Nairobi, I take a Boda Boda to the airport all the time just because I don't like traffic. So it's like, ah, always you a Boda Boda, nini nini. Also, I have a suitcase, I have a bag. So he's like, nah, nah, son, don't, don't even think about it. I'm like, you, let's just see. I call Skyward, I'm like, okay. It's 20 minutes to 4. This is Amat Nyal, Amat Nakumat Nyal. She's like, eh, will you make it? I'm like, yo, just tell them that I might be late. If you can just tell them like 4.15, because if the plane is leaving at 4.30, I promise you I'll be there by 4.15. She's like, just try, just try your best. I'm like, fine, I'll try, but also make sure you tell them that there's someone who's coming but is running late. Yo, we think at the end of Links Road, I was just like, dude, just let me out. I'm gonna get on a Boda Boda because I'm gonna be late. So at this point, it's maybe 10, 10 to four. And I'm just like, yo, this is what we gotta do, right? So I pata some Bodas there. I'm like, Boda Boda, na chaka kuna airport, kuja. I jump on it, Okay, I jump on the Boda Boda. Put on the helmet, suitcase is here, camera is in one hand, phone is in the other, handbag is here, and I'm like, yo, I'm a ninja. I tell the guy I need to get to the airport by four. Tachukwa da kangapi, he says, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. <laughs> so he's basically saying, like, by 4 or 5, we'll be there. Then Anne from Skyward is calling. So now I'm answering the phone as I'm on, as I'm on the border and we're going. Oh, she's like, how far are you? I'm like, I'm on a border border. I'm coming. I'll be there on time. Then this hand, Nimera camera. This one that's filming this. And then I'm just like, I'm going to film some dope footage today. <laughs> Guys, I was that chick on a border like this. It's like it's an action film, but border life forever. Guys. It was one of the most enjoyable Boda Boda rides I have ever had. And it was just so dope. What is happening here? What is going on? You see it a movie? Nope, it's just me feeling like a ninja. Yes. There was that part now after the town and then now there's like that car stretch where they see on this side and see on that side kind of, there were trucks and like we're just over here, the big tires are just over here. And I'm like, yo, I'm a ninja. I'm a ninja. We almost fell like twice because it then got really congested and he had to like go to the side of the road and then you know keeping that balance, Maras drift Talizad on loose rocks, nini nini. Then now once you get past that roundabout and then you go into the road that turns to go to the airport, this like where they're building the road, and I'm just there and then finally I'm like the end is near, we're almost there. And I'm calling her and I'm like, I am two minutes away and I'm two minutes away, I'm right there. So she tells me, okay. When you get there, there's somebody who's gonna be waiting for you at the terminal and um, just run, like make sure you can get there as fast as possible. So as we're approaching the airport, the guy then tells me, okay, so CSE, I can't even get to security. Like he can't even get to be for security. I'm like, no, just go to security. Even if you can't enter the airport, get to security. I'll explain to them that you're just dropping me off and I'll figure my way out from there. He's like, Z, I'm not even getting to security. So we drop off at some gate. He's like, Usijali Jalin talks idea. We drop off at some gate that's like, <laughs> that's like 200 meters from the security checkpoint. And now we have to run to security. So I'm thinking 200 meters, you guys, I can't even run 50. Nandi niko na camera, na suitcase, manini. But he was really helpful. And then some guy in a taxi just drives right up to to us and he's like ingia kwa gari nitakusaidia ingia kwa gari nitakusaidia oh my gosh i was just like wow wow thank you enter the taxi i pay the boda guy we get to security the security guys of course are just like what is what's going on i'm like i'm late nimechelewa flight taniacha nilikuwa tu uwa na nisaidia kuingia so he's like i have he didn't even search us which is a thing that really freaks me out like do they just let people through like that anyway 
So we drive in, um, I tell the guy the terminal to drop me off at, I just pay him some money just because of, just because he helped. So we get to the terminal, there's a guy who's waiting for me there and he's smiling and he's like, okay, we've been waiting for you. And as soon as I get there, I hear, Skyward flight ne -ne 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 to Nairobi is now ready for boarding. And I'm like, going through the security checkpoint, the thing, the scanner, through my things there. I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. You guys, you have, li you've, you've saved my my like you've really come through for me like i was so grateful the, the guy walked me back at the plane like nearly pada dege how can this idea nika pada dege and yeah i made it like i remember getting to the plane because i hadn't even booked a seat or anything i just went straight to the back and i remember sitting down and i was just shaking like this this plane could have left me all the drama all the adrenaline to get here and i was just I'm an adventure. Like I'm just like, hey, Mimi, Patricia Van Dam. What? Legs are skew. Like I felt like such a like such a, an action movie star. <laughs> anyway, so I got onto the plane and I remember just sitting in the back and thinking, wow, these guys really came through for me. Um, I made it and I'm gonna make it to Nairobi just like I wanted and I'm super grateful. An adventure. And then there was turbulence on the plane, and that turbulence for Rukarukai, the one for people screaming on the plane, you know, that one for. You're like, what the hell? I was sitting right across the air steward. This is there reading the newspaper. So at least I was looking at him and thinking, if he's just gonna read the paper, then it can't be that bad. This is not bad. You know, the, the turbulence that you that you panic is the one that um, <laughs> when you see the cabin crew are just like scared even them, then you know something is up. But this guy was just reading his newspaper. He's just chilling. So with a smirk on his face, I was just like, okay, then I guess we're cool. Yeah, that is my story. And now I'm sticking to it. Thank you, Skyward, for saving my life. Well, not saving my life but thank you Skyward for coming through for me I know I made some really <laughs> dramatic promises on that day thanks and um, bye uh, make sure to subscribe I'll catch you in the next video